In the previous lecture, guys, you played with the retime frame, you put some keyframes, you adjust it up and down. And now in this lecture, you notice, I don't want this. I want to change everything and I want to work with the three time speed. So what's the best way, first of all, to reset this clip? The first advice, please guys, be in your trim mode. Otherwise it's gonna eat up some uh, other clips or do some funny things on the timeline. Now you might think that you can right click and go to change clip speed and put it back to 100%. If you do that, you're going to have all kind of uh, adjustments to do later on. The best way is select your clip, go to clip and go to reset three time. You see it here or use the shortcut control alt R or command option R on the Mac. Now my favorite way is just to click on the arrow here and go to reset clip. The first thing after you reset the clip is to check your in point and out point. I can assure you just changed. So if I go to the in point, I'm cool with this in point. That's the right one. If I go to the out point, oops, I missed some. So let's adjust it. So I will zoom in. Here you are. And then ripple trim to the right. Here you are. Okay, so I get all the frames I want. Okay, up to here, baby. Let's adjust it in the middle. Zoom just a bit if I can manage. So now you want to work with the read time speed and it's much easier and much nicer. Let's switch to read time speed. So I'll come over here. I will select read time speed. You could work with both of them if you check both of them. But now for simplicity, I'm going to uncheck read time frame. I'm going to click out. Now that's what's happening here. There is nothing. There is no read time speed. That's because you have to click and select the curve you work with. So you point on the curve here, it says retime speed, you click on it, here you are, retime speed, you're on. The way we want to work here is not using the add speed points. We want just to use keyframes and the curve and adjust our speed. Let's come to the first segment. We decided it's over here. That is easy because we know our clip and set the first keyframe. Let's go further and create the segment by setting the next keyframe. Just over here, setting the next keyframe. Notice how the speed bones have been created. The speed is still 100%, and I have the keyframes on the curve. The easiest way to increase or decrease the speed is to point on the curve. You notice the up and down arrow. Click and drag up. Now you're increasing. You can go down, you decrease. Here you are. So I'm gonna go up. But I personally like very much to be very precise. So I will use the arrow here, change speed, and go to 400%. Now you notice here my graph looks very small. This is because of the upper limit here, it's 1100, and the lower mean limit is minus 300. So I want it to look bigger, so I will decrease the upper limit, okay, and increase the lower limit. And I'm stretching the graph, that's cool. So immediately you can select your keyframe and Make it uh, curved and select the second one and make it curved. For the second segment now, we position the playhead and we add a new keyframe. Let's move towards the end where we wanted to start going slow motion again. Let's say over here and we add a new keyframe. You can now point it to the curve when you have the up and down arrow and take it up. If you want to be very precise, go to the arrow, change speed, and go to 400%, and now we are going to curve them. So you notice how easy it has become. It has taken a lot of explanation, but I really wanted to take you step by step so you understand the system, and I want to make sure that you are very happy working on it. I press spacebar, let's see our work. Not bad, it's working. Now I want to add more. Okay, I will come to the middle over here and then click on the keyframe. So I create a new keyframe. Now I created two segments, if you notice, because of the keyframe. I will come to the segment on the left and take it up. Okay, so it's not working for me here. I need the upper limit to be higher. So I'm gonna take it down like this and then put it up as much as possible. Okay, to make quite a difference. I'm gonna do the same for here. Add a keyframe and then take the upper limit and take it up, 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 up as much as I can. Okay, here you are. Let's see exactly. Ah, that will work. Then let's play and see if I have done a good job. Here you are. One, two. 
and one, two. Very nice. Okay, guys. So you most probably have already noticed that working with the retime speed, adding the keyframes, taking the graph up and down the way you would like is very easy, very convenient, very visual here. You can see exactly what's happening. You can retime your keyframes if you like to and actually is extremely powerful. So please go to the DaVinci Resolve 15 if you're not there already and play with this clip. Create even more variable speeds on this clip. For example, just in the beginning over here, he starts fast and then goes down very slow. Add and play. And take any clip that uh, you have in the project, if it's slow motion or normal speed, and uh, play with the graph. And please have fun. Because later on when you get the project, it's going to be pretty serious. Thank you. I will see you in the next lecture.